So I just thought of something. Yeah, what? Well, we've been sending owls to Sirius all year. So what? And he's in hiding. What's your point, Harry? We're looking for Voldemort, right? Why don't we just send him a letter and then follow the owl and then we can kill him before he even gets a chance to regenerate? It doesn't work like that, Harry. That's actually not a bad idea. Have either of you read Hogwarts A History? Oh, shut up, Hermione. No one wants to read that f***ing book. Hedwig, ooh, ooh. take this to Voldemort. It's not going to work. It's worth a try. Ooh, ooh. This time, I will kill Harry. I found you. What the f***? I can't believe that actually worked. How did you know where I was? I just sent an owl and followed it. Damn it. Why didn't I think of that? Well, this is awkward. Listen, my plans aren't ready yet. Could you come back at the end of the school year? No. Oh, shit. Get in. Ah! Troll in the dungeon. Troll in the dungeon. Did he just say that somebody bummed him? What? I said troll in the dungeon. Oh, that makes much more sense. Oh, shit. Hermione. Hermione, are you okay? Do I look okay, Ronald, you fucking moron? All right, Jesus, I was just trying to help. Look out. <laughs> Did he just throw a bloody toilet seat at us? Lucky this isn't the boys' bathroom or we'd be covered in piss right now. Wingardium f*** your mother. Oh. oh, did you see that, Harry? Yes, Ron, you actually did something for once. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, it's just normally. Yeah? Well, you're about as useless as a condom with air vents. She's right, Ron, sorry. <laughs> well, shut up, you. Wait, you're me and I'm you. What's going on here? I'm Harry from an alternate dimension. How is that even possible when Voldemort's curse bounced back. It created a series of infinite possibilities. So, how is your universe any different? Well, no one in our universe has any genitals. Oh my god. We're all basically Ken dolls and not the cool Ryan Gosling kind. What about our mother? Is she still alive? Yes, she is. Oh, that's great. But she's banging Snape. Oh dear god. Yeah. I walked in on them one time rubbing their shapeless lumps together. Are you the worst timeline? Actually, you are. What? In your timeline? Hagrid will eventually kill Voldemort and take over the Wizarding World. Hagrid? As in my Hagrid? Yes, I'd watch out for him if I were you. Hello, Harry. Jesus Christ! I need a little favour. Don't f***ing do it, Harry! Wait a minute, two Harrys? Oh, that's what I get for dropping ruddy acid before lunch. How are you still working here? Oh, well, yeah, shouldn't have said that. Mr. Weasley. What is it? You penis nose. Wanker. I've caught you red handed. Oh, really? Where did you find that? You greasy head. Bum sniffer. You left it on my desk. That's right. We did. Why? Because we wanted to tell you that you've been caught red handed. What are you talking about? We've seen you visiting Lily Potter's grave, carrying a box of tissues. The of hand lotion and an ice cream cone. That wasn't me. You have no proof. Oh, really? How did we find this ice cream cone? What? And it wasn't filled with soft serve. Was, was it Snape? Snape? You are both stalking a teacher. And you're stalking a student's dead mother. And stroking your pinky finger in the moonlight. You can have your map back. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, Severus, Severus Simp. Simp. Not all wizards are good, Harry. Some of them go bad. You mean worse than you? What? Listen, Harry. A few years ago, there was a wizard who went as bad as you can go. And his name was... Well, his name was V... Maybe you could just text it to me. No, I can't spell. Not even with autocorrect. Will you shut up, Harry? His name was Voldemort, all right? Voldemort? Harry, no! Don't say his name, you specky twat. Why not? Because he... What? What is it? Oh, no! What do you want? Did, did, did someone say my name? Oh, uh, yes. We... Well, we were just talking about you, you see, and we didn't actually expect you to show up. Oh. Well, don't say my name unless it's really important, okay? Okay. Sorry. Stupid kids with a bloody name. So was that actually Voldemort? What? What do you want? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know this happens all the time. Really? Some guy the other day actually said my name while he was whacking off. That's a weird kink. Should have seen his face when I apparated into his room. I'll bet he was surprised. And he stained my bloody robe. Look. Is that toothpaste? Oh! I have a plan to finally kill Harry Potter. What is it? I'll wait for the perfect moment, and when he isn't looking, I'll jump out and... Th then what? Well, I haven't thought that far yet. Oh, uh... This is just an early pitching phase. Okay, uh... Oh, I've got it. We'll hang some paint cans up the top of the stairs, and when he... You mean like Home Alone? What? Sorry to interrupt. What the f***? 
Remember the time you framed me for murder, Tom? You're still not over that! I've been biding my time, you see. I found your diary, and all your other ruddy horcruxes. How did you- I mean, I don't know what you're talking They're all gone, Tom. No! You're bluffing! <laughs> ah! I guess that means I'm dead, too. <laughs> no, there's only one piece of Voldemort left. Ugh, I just got a really weird feeling. Did you shit yourself, Harry? What? No. It happens to me all the time. Doctor says I have IBS. I didn't shit myself, Ron. Oh, uh, neither did I. So that's why my scar was hurting. Voldemort is dead. Don't say his bloody name, Harry. He's fucking dead, Ron. What's he gonna do? Oh, no. Oh, wait, that's actually a good thing. I don't know what the story for the next six books is going to be. I knew it. The darkest timeline has begun. What do you mean? It was Hagrid. He killed Voldemort. Hagrid? No way, actually, that sounds about right. Is it true that in your universe, people don't have genitals? Is that really the most pressing question right now? All right, I was just bloody asking. Hagrid, thank you for coming. What's wrong, Professor? Someone stole my Horcruxes. I know. I mean, I mean, how could that be? We need to alert Arthur Weasley and the Ministry that the interdimensional Time Turner might be under threat. I think someone far more powerful than Voldemort might be playing their hand. Also, can you help me delete my browser history? What? Why? Oh, no reason. I, I, I just don't want the Ministry Backdoor to... Stallions 12. Th that's not mine! Well, well... Look at what we've got here. Two, Two Harry Potters. Potters. Hello, Fred. George, we need your help. We know. We can see two Harry Potters on this map, but only one penis. What's up with that? Why is everyone in this universe so obsessed with their genitals? Look, I just really need to know how you have babies. That's really not important right now, Ron. Please, it's driving me mental. Fine. We make love by placing our earlobes together and, you know, kind of jiggling them about. Oh my god! Oh. There, happy now? No, I'm not happy at all! Now can we please focus on the interdimensional threat? Sorry, you'll get used to them. Why don't you go and... Talk to Severus Sim? Why would we do that? Because there may only be one Potter penis on this map, but there are three Severus Simps. What? Oh, I hate this universe. Why did you call me here? I, the real Severus Snape. You wish. I am the real Severus Snape. No, I am the real... I, I, I... Ugh. Don't mind him. I think this version of Snape might suffer from a brain injury. I, Snape. I, Snape. Yes, we know. Shut up. Why did you call us here? It is as prophesied by the great servant. What? You mean... Yes. Voldemort has been killed. Lies. How do you know? Because my dark mark disappeared. Then that means a giant will take over the wizarding world. No, I believe this part of the prophecy is incorrect. Snape did doo-doo. What? <laughs> oh my god. Get a towel. I am not touching that. I make chocolate in my pants. Will you shut up? What do you propose we do? We will need to travel to Universe 3. I need to speak to Voldemort. Mr. Potter, why in the name of Godric Gryffindor's circumcised sword is there two of you? McGonagall, it's, it's Hagrid. He's killed Voldemort and now he's going have to- Have you been smoking gillyweed again, Mr. Potter? What? No. He's right. You have to listen to him. The day I listened to a student who was caught with a cucumber and a tub of yogurt in the girl's bathroom. What were you doing with the yogurt? Uh, I, I, I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> don't you you laugh, Mr. Weasley. I caught you with a box of tissues and a porcupine in the broom closet. Oh. Please, Professor McGonagall, we need to speak to Snape. Very well, Miss Granger. Seems as how you're the only one of these students who won't wind up flipping burgers for a living. I'll allow it. Thank you. Come on, we don't have much time. No running in my fucking home. Sorry. <laughs> Shh. Came too late. <laughs> That's what your mum said, Harry. His mother's dead wrong. Oh yeah. Whoops. We need to find Dumbledore. Good thinking. He'll know what to do. Well, well, well. Look at this. Two potters and a red-pubed twat. Oh, piss off, Malfoy. Yeah, why don't you go gobble crab and Goyle's ball? Shut it, Weasley. Why don't you go and pick up some more benefits checks? Maybe then you can afford some robes that don't smell like you've shit yourself. Hey, that's not fair. I've got IBS. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I bloody hate this school. Looking for Dumbledore, are you? No shit, Sherlock. Well, you're too late. You just left with that big oaf Hagrid. Fuck! 
Where did they go? Dumbledore could be in danger. Oh, yeah? And two specky twats with two-inch wands are gonna save him. Will you just bloody tell us? Fine. The Forbidden Forest, okay? Oh, no! Only gone somewhere quiet to wank each other off. <laughs> This isn't good. Now go away, would you? You can smell Weasley's robes from up here. I've got IBS, you bastard. He's right, Ron. You you really do smell. Oh! <laughs> Hagrid, where are we going? You really need to go and see Arthur Weasley. Just a little further. Why are you taking me to such a suspicious part of the forest? I want to show you something. This is too far from any public restroom. When you get to my age, you need to pee every five minutes. We're here. What's with all these webs? Where are we? Whoa, cool sword. Hey, wait, that's mine! Ah! Hagrid, why? Why? All those ruddy years of bullying? You were the most powerful wizard at school. You could have stopped it, and you didn't. I'm sorry, Hagrid. I, I... Feeding time. What? <sighs> Food for my baby. Thank you, Hagrid. It's all right. Now, do you want a Coke or a Pepsi with that? Oh, yuck. Coke, please. Hagrid, I, I know this is a really bad time, but I really need the toilet. So long, Dumbledore. Hagrid. Hagrid! No oh, bloody hell. I've pissed myself. Any last requests? You wouldn't have any sherbet lemons by any chance? No. Sorry. Oh, darn it. All right, well, let's get this over with. Shall we eat your head or your legs first? Oh, head, please. Excellent choice. Dumbledore. Oh, hello, Harry. Thank God, we're not too late. Piss off, Andrew Garfield. Oh! What is this magic? Magic? It's bug spray, you bellin. Andrew Garfield? You know, Spider-Man. Why wouldn't you say Tom Holland or Tobey Maguire? Look, I didn't have bloody time to- Oh, screw this. I'm going home. This is ridiculous. Jesus, what smells like piss? Is that you, Weasley? Hi. No, that's me. Oh. Thank you, Harry. What happened? I think there's something very wrong with Hagrid. Well, well, well. Look at what we've got here. <laughs> What kind of kinky stuff are you into, Hagrid? You gotta help me. I'm being framed. By who? A ruddy imposter, that's who. Which is why I, Voldemort, head of the Ministry of Magic, shall... What the f***? What is this? It was his idea. Snape did doo-doo. Oh my god! No, not him. Him! Voldemort, the time has come. Yes, the time for you three to get the hell out of my office! The prophecy of the Great Serpent has come to fruition. Lies! I was just on the phone to the Great Serpent. No, not Nagini, you imbecile! The Great Serpent, the snake at the edge of time. Oh, right, that's Snape. Snape make brown snake in pants. Ugh, why does he keep soiling himself? We don't know. But why the bloody hell would you bring him into my office? He insisted on coming along. Snapes are my best friends. If what you tell me is true, the great unraveling has begun. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, would you put him outside, please? Tell them what you told us. I was just minding my own business. Then someone came up behind me in me tiny magic office. Oh. Someone came in your tiny hole. He means the room of requirement, Ron. Oh, the next thing I know, I'm looking at myself like I was looking in a ruddy mirror. But then he whacks me over the head. That's when we found him. Oh, I think he has Dumbledore's whores as well. Do you mean horcruxes? That's the one. All right, this is getting way too weird. Catch you never, wankers. Did you notice anything else, Hagrid? Yeah, he had a really big sword. <sighs> Let me guess, you're talking about his penis? No, I'm talking about his ruddy sword, Harry. What are you on about? Oh, um, never mind. But it was a really weird one. Like it didn't belong in this world, you know? Did he say anything about an interdimensional time turner? How'd you know that? Oh, shit. Stupid Potter. I'm glad his parents are dead. Hello, Malfoy. What the hell? Let's have a little chat about what you did to Bookbeak. I talked to my colleagues at the ministry. And? Well, they agreed Snape to- Snape make hard snake in pants. What? Bloody hell, he's got an erection! Tuck it under your robes, for God's sake! Anyway, the ministry agreed to grant a safe passage to the interdimensional realm. You mean the very same interdimensional realm that drives Anyone who enters it in sane? Yes, that's the one! You can't enter that dimension without one of three 
interdimensional keys. Yes. You don't have one, do you? No. Well, what bloody good are you- I am getting pretty sick of your attitude. My attitude? And your penis-shaped head. At least I don't look like Adam Driver's aborted twin. Snape has key in pants. Will you shut up? What? How on earth? Snape hid key in bum bum. Oh dear God! I am not touching that. Get some disinfectant for Christ's sake! Where are you taking me, you big oaf? I'll show you. Okay, big deal. You have a sex dungeon. Remember when your father called the ministry on me? Had me sent to Azkaban? Uh, doesn't ring a bell, sorry. And then had my friend Buckbeak murdered? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a classic Malfoy prank, that was. Prank? Yeah, you should have seen your face. <laughs> it wasn't really funny. I was sent to Azkaban. They tortured me. Oh, boo-hoo. Speaking of torture, I'm gonna make you wish you were sent to Azkaban. Then, when you beg me to send you there, that's when I'll do it. Do what? You know, murder you. Ugh, how cliché. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't be bothered with this. I'll ruddy do it now. Not so fast, Hagrid. What the? This ends now. We know what you're after. And you'll never get that interdimensional... Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, had to pee. You'll never get that interdimensional time, Turner. Like hell I won't. Here it is. The gateway to the interdimensional realm. Do you have the key? Here it is! Oh god, it stinks! Well, he had it in his bloody rectum, for Christ's sake! I thought you said you washed it. I did! Three times! Snape had spicy tacos. Why do we keep bringing him? Look on the wall. Three keys to stay sane. What on earth? Uh, Snape hid key in Bam Bam. Be quiet! We know! Shut up! Let's get this bloody over with, shall we? <laughs> well, that's just terrific! You first. What? Me? Why me? You're supposed to be one of the greatest wizards alive. Wait, what's this? A diary page. Who was it written by? By him. <laughs> Oh, God! I can taste it! It smells worse every time! You're telling me that this letter was written by the very same Snape who just defecated in his pants and then threw it at a Dementor? It would seem so. Well, go on then, read it! To my darling Lily, I love you with all of my heart. What? He is dating Lily Potter! That is what it says. Snape bang Lily in her bottom. Oh my god! You shut up! I can't unhear that! Just keep reading. What I do now, I do for you. I may not return from the interdimensional realm, but to know that you are safe, my love, will be worth my sacrifice. Snape put finger in Bam Bam. Oh bloody hell, not again! He's up to the elbow! We'll need to find the other two keys if we don't want to end up shitting ourselves like this moron! All right, step back, or I'll got him like a fish. Ew, your breath smells like fish. Or is that your mum's vagina? <laughs> oh, ruddy hell, I'll kill him now! Expelliarmus! What the bloody hell? You'll ruddy die for that. Harry too, no! Yeah, mate, it's just Malfoy, it's not worth it. Look, I know in this universe, he's a bit of a dick. But in my universe, well, I love him. What the f***? Oh! Wingardium Levios! No! See you later, Harry. My time turner. Harry, no! Dumbledore, help! I'm sorry, Harry. There's nothing I can do. You got bloody stabbed, mate, and you're totally fine! Well, yes, but I'm Dumbledore. Harry, take this to my Snape. He'll know what to, to, to do with it. Uh, uh. Did he just say Snape? Oh, no! Blimey, Harry. Sirius Black has broken out of Azkaban. What's a Sirius Black? He murdered your parents, Harry. Remember? Really? Doesn't ring a bell. Hey, why is there a homeless man sleeping in our carriage? I'm not a werewolf. You, you can't prove anything. I was wondering about that too. Is he growling in his sleep? Yeah, I saw him cock his leg and take a piss on a fire hydrant before as well. Oh my god, he's got fleas! Uh, I think we should leave immediately. Good idea, Harry. <laughs> Holy shit! It's a Dementor! Harry, you can't say that anymore! What? We say mentally compromised Azkaban guard! <laughs> Inspecto my phone! Harry! Harry, wake up! He's passed out, Ron! Oh, let's draw a p. 
it's on his head. Oh, where am I? Oh, don't worry. Just have some chocolate. We're not supposed to take chocolate from strangers. Well, it's not like I drugged it. Oh, actually, I did drug this batch. Uh, here we go. This one should be fine. Fred, George, have you seen Harry? Why don't you check Draco Malfoy's bumhole? Please, be serious. Yeah, we think he might be in trouble. Then why don't you try the girls' bathroom? We said be serious. We, we are. are. <laughs> Nobody ever comes just to say hi. They always want something from me. Will you just bloody shut up and tell us? Hey, aren't you the boy that sneaks in here to watch girls pee? What? No, uh, you must have me confused with someone else. Oh, yes, it is you. You have bright red Victor Crumb undies. Ronald! That's not important. Just bloody tell us where Harry is. He's not here. He never came back from the Chamber of Secrets. What? And he dropped. This? These look like blueprints to hack a time turner to travel between dimensions. What is going on in here? Huh? No, oh, I see. Caught Weasley spanking it in the girls' bathroom again, have we? Oh. <laughs> Draco, it's Harry. We think he's in trouble. What? No, where is he? What are we going to do now? Whoa, looks like Harry ripped out one of his bloody teeth. Ooh. I thought he wanted to be an aura, not a bloody dentist. Get out of the way, red pubes. Hey! Oh. He finally did it. What are you on about, Malfoy? Harry told me that he was trying to collect all the Horcruxes. He said someone was after them. Yeah, duh, Voldemort. Shut up, Weasley. Oh. It wasn't Voldemort, all right? It was someone else. Like who? Harry kept having these bad dreams. Bad dreams? Yeah, not like the ones you have, Weasley, where you shit yourself and then wake up. Hi. Hey, <laughs> I don't have to sit here and bloody- Shut up, Ron. Go on, Draco. He said Hagrid was going to kill him, and that he needed to collect all of the Horcruxes before he did. What was he going to do with them? I don't know. He said he would always wake up before he died. Why would an evil Hagrid want Horcruxes? What did you do it? Dear, yeah, he's dead. What about the other version? of me he got away. Fucking hell. Well, you're not getting that pay raise you asked for. Well, that's not fair. Harry, you need to see this. Ah! Oh, no! Stay back, mate. What? What's wrong? Prove that you're the real Hagrid. Listen, I was clearing out the tiny brown magic hole when I found... You what? He's talking about the room of requirement, Ron. Oh, why does he keep calling it that? Well, this definitely must be the real Hagrid. Tell us what you found. Well, it's sort of hard to describe. What the hell is this, mate? Why does everything look so blocky? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that sword evil Hagrid used to kill Voldemort. That's exactly what I was thinking. This is very bad. If what I'm thinking is true, then the other version of Hagrid has found a way to slip between universes. And if he manages to find a way to the interdimensional time turner, then every universe will be folded into one. Did you get it? Yeah. One down, two to go. But where are the others? Oh, I know who has one of them. Snape did stinky poo poo. Oh my god! Oh, let's go to the interdimensional realm! What a fucking fantastic idea that was! Well, I don't hear you coming up with any better ideas. That's you! That's what you sound like! Can we please stop this childish bickering? All I've gotten since you three marched in here was a pointless fetch quest! Snape needs to- Oh, let me guess! You need to defecate on my fine marble floors once again! Snape needs to- Or is it urine this time? Snape can see- We can make it a three Snapes and one cup party, how about that? Will you shut up and let him speak? Fine! What is it? Snape, see portal. What the? What f on earth? A portal? This is really going to mess up my office decor. Snape can see him, the man who is after. <laughs> uh, what the f was that? He has the key. Oh, for fuck's sake. Margaret, yes, Voldemort. tell them to cancel my one o'clock. Hagrid, excuse me. Well, I, I didn't smuggle any drugs under the Hogwarts Express. You can't prove anything. What? Uh, nothing. What's wrong, Harry? Why does everything look so sh**? We're in the Minecraft universe, Harry. Everything looks kind of sh**. But I'm not supposed to be here. You didn't smoke any white powder you found in an old paper bag, did you? I'm not on drugs, Hagrid. This isn't my universe. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? You mean I've lost another ruddy student? Then where's the real Harry? I don't know. I, I, I was staring into a portal, and now I'm here. Bloody hell. First Buckbeak got 16 Hufflepuffs, and now this. You just shut up and help me. All right, come with me. Mr. Potter, what in the name of Salazar Slytherin's four-inch snake are you on about? I'm in the wrong universe. All right, hand it over. Where is the gillyweed? I'm not smoking drugs, okay? Yeah, I thought that too. Jesus Christ. We better take him to Dumbledore. 
From another universe, you say? Hmm. Then the prophecy of the great unraveling has begun. Spell it! Where's the other ruddy key? I don't know. Tell me! Snape has urinated in pants. Oh, for Christ's sake! You've hit him too many times with that f***ing bat! No, he was already ruddy like this when I found him. Oh, ruddy hell! Can I just kill him now? No! How many times do I need to tell you? We need him to enter the interdimensional realm! Snape did doo-doo. Oh, it's burning me eyes! Oh, I just mopped that floor. Tell me! Who has it? Harry has key. Harry? Which one? Tell me! I don't care what he Ruddy says! I'll kill ya! Dumbledore, I need your help to get back to my universe! Not right now, Harry. I'm too drunk. Wait, your Dumbledore is a trunk? Oh yeah, isn't yours? No! <laughs> Jesus Christ, my shoes! Why do you insist on coming through the bloody portal right behind me? I have to do it before it closes. Well, stay away from my brown portal. That's definitely closed. You wish. Uh, what the hell? Oh, great. It's a long bottom. Did you just come through a portal? Shut it. Why is long bottom in every universe such a simpleton? Actually, on top of my clothes. Oh, nobody cares. Where is your potter? Wait, are you Voldemort? Oh, my God. Shut it, long bottom. This Voldemort is good. Well, I wouldn't say good. Oh, very nice! Where is Potter? Come on, we don't have all day! Did you just say Potter? Where is he? What, what the hell? Is that bloody Voldemort? Oh, no! What in the name of sweet baby Slytherin is going on here? There's no bloody time to explain, you posh blonde twat! Where is Potter? Well, we're not telling you, you'll just bloody kill him! Believe it or not, we're actually trying to save him. What the fuck? Oh, great! You broke Hermione! Where am I? Oh, what's going on with your face, Harry? What do you mean? Well, it's all f***ed up, isn't it? Like you're one to talk, you ginger-pubed twat. Oh! Oh no! The portal! I don't think this is our Harry. Where did you come from? I don't know. I was waiting to board the Hogwarts Express, and then a portal sucked me in, and now I'm here. It appears that when two of the same person are near a portal at once, it breaks down. Well, this is just great. I had a date with Cho Chang tonight, and she promised me a hand job. No! Your p is just as blocky as your face. Is that really the most important question right now, Ronald? I was just asking. We need to find another way to travel between dimensions. Check this out. What is this? Our Harry rigged a small time turner so that it could travel between. Oh, big deal. We've got one of those. Holy sh! Where'd you get that? Nope. Built it. You built that? No, not me, you imbecile. Snape is going to die. Oh, not yet you won't, but as soon as I'm done with you, I'll gladly be the one to do it. I feel dizzy. Of course you feel f***ing dizzy. You just drank three bottles of straight whiskey. Really? I thought it was more. I've seen him drink seven before. Remember that, McGonagall? Very well, Mr. Hagrid. I believe I had to use an Obliviate charm on a judge because Dumbledore accidentally used the killing curse on the HR lady. Jesus Christ! Oh, don't be such a baby potter. It was just someone from HR. Can we just focus on getting me back to my own universe, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you want Dumbledore's help, you're going to have to help me clean that vomit out of his beard. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Ugh, I think he might have shit himself as well. Ugh, I think I'm going to be sick. Then, of course, we're going to have to wait 15 hours for this hangover to go away. But I might not have 15 hours. Well, then you're pretty much fucked then, aren't you, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this universe. All right, there he is. It says Harry is only 100 meters away. Good. Now remember, we need the key. Harry is expendable. Oh, so you don't mind if I kill him then? I think I'll use a mace this time. You, uh, haven't used those psychiatrist appointments I booked for you, have you, Hagrid? Well, I did, but the guy pissed me off, so I, uh, I killed him. Oh, well, that's the last bloody time I pay for anything for you. Oi, Dumbledore! I beg your pardon? I've got a bone to pick with you. Harry, calm down, man. Oh, shut up, Ron. Why don't you go and let Scabbers watch you wank off again? Oh! Harry, what on earth is this about? I know you've been planning to use me as fucking bait for Voldemort. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. I... Snape, why would you bloody tell him that? Because he asked, sir. Well, I've got some news for you, you incontinent old bastard. Harry, stop. I don't have any time to explain. You need to take this. No, I'm not done to... Wait, what? The prophecy. It's here. He's coming. Who's coming? Oh. What the f***? Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Jesus f***ing Christ! Give me the ruddy key, Harry. Hagrid, what, what, what are you doing? The key! <laughs> Is that Polly 
juice potion. <laughs> you should have just given it to me, Harry. It didn't need to be this way. Gross! Right, now we need to massage his throat. What? So he doesn't choke on his own vomit, Mr. Potter? Dumbledore, wake up! I need to get back to my own universe. Did you put your name in the goblet of... Use a circular motion. That always works for me. Jesus Christ! You're not going anywhere. I'm afraid you will not be seeing your universe ever again. Dumbledore? What the fuck? Uh, let's get this over with. Who in the name of Salazar Slytherin's tiny snake do you think you are? Give me the ruddy key, Harry. Hagrid, why are you doing this? I gave you a chance. I'm sorry. Spelly arm. What the? What? Uh, Snape? Run, Potter. I will hold them off. I don't, I don't know what to... Thank you. Fucking run, you imbecile. Right, sorry. Sectum Sembra. Handy spell, that one. Shut up and get Harry! All right, grumpy pants. It's great to be back in the real world. What do you mean, real world? Yeah, you look like a square penis. Bloody hell! Oh, no! <laughs> Looks like this one's still alive. Where's Harry? Dumbledore, Snape, he's still alive. They took him? They took her? Shh, don't talk. We'll get you some help. Will you shut up and listen, you moron? Sorry. He has the final key. He took Harry. He took Harry? Where? The interdimensional realm. He's dead. N not yet. 400 points from Gryffindor. Motherfucker. What the hell do we do now? Oh, so everyone just looks to me for exposition, do they? Well, don't bloody look at me either. If he has the key, then there is only one person left who can save us now. Gross. I was lying right there. Shut it, you two. Um, I vote to stay behind. Shut it. You two go first. Ugh. Why didn't you just kill him like the rest? Yeah, why didn't you kill me? Just ruddy move. Oh, I don't want to walk up front with him. Move, or I'll break your ruddy legs, Harry. You knew I didn't want kids when we started this evil partnership. Memories coming back. What do you... Take this. What is this? A letter? And a bracelet? What the... Shh. Hide it. We're here. Take your wish. I want the interdimensional time to... Only one of pure hearts can open the door. Well, well, then we're fucked. You! Open it! Leave him alone! Listen! One of you's gonna open that ruddy door, or you're both gonna die! No, we're not. So you can speak. Fine. Ah. No! You better have a ruddy, pure heart, Harry. Okay, so I've chatted to the Aurors. And? They agree that if Hagrid has united all three keys, then we can enter the interdimensional realm safely. Wow. What? Oh, uh, nothing. What? It's just you actually did something useful. Normally you just bitch and moan like you're going through menopause. Oh, for fuck's sake! You all came to me, remember? We only came to you because we thought that a Voldemort who had legitimately risen through the ranks of the Ministry of Magic might actually be able to do some basic magic! Enough! Oh, I'm standing right here, Hermione. While you're all bickering like children, Harry could be in danger! Uh, let's not forget about Snapey. Uh. Snapey? Hermione is right. We are running out of time. What about me? What should I do? You? You stay here. Oh, but I want to help. The last thing we need is one of those annoying twin Mexican standoffs. What are you talking about? Oh, which one is the real Hagrid? Frankly, it's an overused trope. I agree. Guys, hurry the fuck up! Right, sorry. How do I open it? If you are sure of heart, the door will and if I'm not? Then your balls will be sucked up through your body and ripped out through your mouth. Well, that sounds uncomfortable. Oh, come on already! Buddy, hurry up! All right! Snape, I, I'm sorry I couldn't... It's okay, Harry. I'm sorry. This all falls on your shoulders. Boy! <coughs> Are you okay? Go through the fucking door, Harry! Okay, here goes. There it is! The interdimensional time to hurry! Oh bloody hell, not now! Ron! Hermione! You came! <coughs> oh, just Ron and Hermione, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- Oh, I'm sick of this! Oh, I, I can't move! Neither can I! <coughs> oh, bloody hell, not now! Wait! He's changing! Oh my god! Warp? That's right. But why? 
Why? Because you wizards are all bloody racists. Always looking down on us giants. How would we look down on a giant? You know what I really mean. Like we're all mentally handicapped. Well, no offense, mate, but you, you sort of are. That's exactly what I'm really talking about. But why choose to look like Hagrid? It was his idea. Guilty as charged. Figured I would be accepted if I at least looked half human. Then what happened to your Hagrid? He died in Azkaban because of bloody Malfoy. Hey, don't look at me. Must have been another Malfoy. You're all the ruddy same. Now who's being a racist? No, this is getting boring. You can kill the boy now. No! Leave him alone! You don't have to do what he says, you know. Yes, I do. He's the only friend I've ever had. But he's using you. Kill him, you moron! Oh, yeah. Ah, oi, ah. Do it, Nerds. Fine, I do it myself. Jesus Christ! Ow! Finally, it's mine! <laughs> What's happening? Every dimension is beginning to fold in on itself. Our memories, our futures, our pasts will cease to exist. Is that bad? Of course that's fucking bad, Ronald! Now, Harry, how would you like to die? Can I choose not to? What? No, that's not a choice! But why destroy the universe? Because it took from me the one person I love! Wait. Oh, bloody hell, Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Snape! Snapey! Oh, Snapey, you did well, Harry. Come on, we'll get you out of here. We'll find Forks. No, you can't. Yes, we can. Come on. You're a wonderful wizard, Harry. If you were my son, I would be proud. No, oh, you can't die. I don't even know what to do with this. The horror of the ancient race can be granted one wish. Holy shit! Can I just wish this all never happened? No. Or can I wish everyone back from the dead? No. Can I just bring one person back from the dead? I don't know. Maybe? What kind of low budget genie dragon thing are you? Be impatient, I hurry the fuck up. Okay, uh, fine. Um, I wish for. Your wish is granted. <laughs> What? We're back! It would appear so. So does that mean the universe is an ending? Oh, that was so five minutes ago, Ronald! What did you wish for, Harry? Ugh, I feel weird. Wait, when did you all get here? Harry Poos! Ugh, Harry Poos? Harry, you... you saved me. Yeah, I did. But you... you could have brought anyone back. Even one of your parents. I know, but if it wasn't for you, well, none of us would be here. Thank you, Harry. No, thank you, Harry. <coughs> Oh god! I can taste Sorry! It. Think I spent too long in the interdimensional realm! So what happens now? I have one last thing to do. Come in. There's someone I want to introduce you to. Harry? Mom, I'm I'm sorry. I know you're not mine. Shh. Come here. I, I've missed you so much. You brave, brave boy. I bought you this. What is this? Does this mean that... Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, Severus. Thank you, Harry. Uh, I... What the... Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. I uh, just miss Snapey so much, you know. Anyways, I'll leave you to grieve in peace. Sorry. Wait, was that Voldemort? It's a long story. Ah! What's wrong? Was it that dream again? Yeah. The one where someone's collecting every horcrux from every dimension. Why did you summon me? I just looked into the future pensive. It appears Harry's wish changed things. Ah. All right, Terry. Helga, well, what have I told you about watching me sleep? Oh, don't be such a baby. Gonna take you on a field trip, aren't I? It's 3 a.m., Hoga, and I'm not even at school right now. Go on, I got a lead on that serial killer. Last time you said you had a lead, we just went to a strip club. Well, I got some good news. This isn't a strip club. I thought you said this wasn't a strip club. All right, I lied. 